book, To Burn or Not to Burn Fat, is the question. Great name for a book, by the way. Thank you. I'm going back to L.A. today, but I'm going to read this book. Because and we're this taking you to lunch, and we're going to yeah. pick your brain even more. Yeah. So Stay if up. you want to know more about stress, hormones, diet, weight loss, get a copy of To Burn or Not to Burn Fat is the question by Dr. Len Lopez. Uh, so okay. instead of me trying to do 180 wow. pound pull up, now I'm just doing about uh, about 120 pounds. It gives me the capability to finally get the same benefits of pull ups. Right Thyroid does, but the adrenal glands are very, very involved in helping your body burn fat, keeping your immune system strong. A lot of these weight loss programs, they'll lose weight, but they didn't burn body fat. And they ended up burning stored a lean a good muscle. Muscle. Yeah, lean muscle. One of the first things that might help you with some of your symptoms is let's flush out some of the poisons. Some of the you have to really You know, kind of an equilateral triangle of the structural component of the healing body, the mental aspect of it, and also the chemical aspect of it. Those three things affect in your body, your brain chemistry, sleeping, depression, anxiety. I mean, you know, those are so woven together for you know, for a hot flashes, PMS, hormonal imbalances, that depression that anxiety, that insomnia, and again, it starts with stress. Simple is that when you're under lots of stress, your body steals all your progesterone to make all your stress hormones. And if your if progesterone is being used to make your stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline, then it disrupts that balance of estrogen to progesterone. It's hard to do, but here I'm only, t I'm only pulling up about 120 pounds. So now I can work my back, my biceps, and my feet. They take one step backward, they, they commit diet suicide. They quit dieting properly and they just go downhill from there. So talk about menopause, we talked about depletion, and they go hand in hand. And, and anybody who's approaching menopause, so we're talking mostly here to women here, all, because men, <laughs> you might want to make sure you record the show for your wives or for your <laughs> sister or whatever. What am I hitting? I swear, I'm going to hurt it. Right. It's called a glucagon. Insulin, we know, stores fat. Right. Glucagon, we know, burns fat. So which foods are you putting in your body that's going to trigger the release of one of those two hormones? Okay. If you're diabetic, if you have lots of blood sugar problems, the mosquitoes can smell that when they get on your body, and they go, wow, this is a nice, sweet-tasting person, so they're going to bite you. But if you have more garlic in your body, if you have more vitamin B in your body, years ago, there was no such thing. It was one in a hundred people had heart disease. Oh now it's, you know, one in two, mm -hmm. and it's because the foods we eat. And so if we want to talk about what you want to put in your body for good heart Heart health. One of the best things you can use when you when you exercise is a simple heart rate monitor. You can grab it at any one of the at, at the at the sporting goods stores. Right. Start triggering your own body, and that's the key thing to trigger your body to burn the stored body fat. Where are your, those calories coming from? Are they coming from stored body fat, or are you just burning calories from the natural alternatives, the natural approaches for? allergy and sinus problems from a cactus huh. okay it has a very low glycemic and I know a lot of people were really stuck on these low carb things mm -hmm. but it's not low carb it's slow carb we all know what cars are and cars have air fil air filters and water filters and you always have to take them out and clean them and put new ones in there and we also know when you take those out and put them back put the new clean ones in there you get better performance of your car well we have little organs in our body our liver our large intestine our skin that detoxify, they are filters for our body also. And they pull out a lot of the poisons that are in our body. Again, cortisol, like insulin, it's not a good or a bad hormone, guys. Just People, you've been told that it's been bad. Right. It's just, you know, the good Lord didn't create a bad hormone. It's just, are you making too much of it? Mm -hmm. Are you not making enough of it to properly regulate your body? Hormone will trigger your body to burn protein, lean muscle tissue and it will not allow your body to burn fat. Water. Uh, How many of us don't get that fresh air and fresh water out there? How about a not, not enough good rest, not enough exercise in our daily activity to keep everything pumping and moving? Also got a website, drlenlopez.com. Folks can log on there for more information as well. Thank you so much.